In 2001, uh, people were not aware about media and uh, they know just the uh, national TV. There was no internet, there was no mobile phones uh, when Taliban were here. When private media come to uh, Afghanistan, they gained information about the world of out of Afghanistan. Now I'm hopeful and I'm trying uh, to be part of this change and bring changes to Afghanistan. War was here and media were, were used to, to, to wash people's brains out. After the war, it's still using that not correct information to affect people, to tell them what to think. In the last two, three, maybe four years, some media started to, to do different things, trying to focus on something, trying to, to get another view. So much has changed in, in, in the Kenyan media uh, as compared to like 10 years back. We didn't have uh, many radios the way we have many radios now. We only used to have one national radio that people would depend on to get news. We now have choices. There's freedom. People can speak. Information is power. The people need to be informed. Even in the villages, they need to be informed about agriculture, education, health. There's so much to tell people about. So when people get the information, I believe they're empowered. When people have access to quality, locally produced, locally relevant news and information, it improves their lives. They can make better decisions for themselves, for their families, for their communities. The media industry is changing so rapidly, it's hard to keep up. And we find that young people are sort of the furthest ahead in that and the most able to find those interventions, those innovations to, to open up access, to get interesting different types of content out there and, and really mix up and get that diversity of ideas out there. If you travel around the world, it's stunning to see the demographics of our future. You know, Pakistan alone, 80% of the population today is under 40. And we know that the demographic shift to young people is taking place all over the world, but particularly in the developing world. We need young people uh, to work for young people. Because the young people uh, better know about the uh, young wishes, the young problems. Uh, and what young, what youths uh, want. I just see that the, the young people as uh, new voices, different points of view, showing what their problems are, uh, talking about their stories. The new media and the internet and the social media have given young people new tools and new ways to let their voices be heard. Technology definitely has uh, changed the way um, journalists do their work. It makes it very easy for you to actually go out and do your story within a short time and you have it on air. And people are able to, to get news within just a few minutes. The interesting thing is how then news, important news will be getting to you as a user. It will probably come to you through a tweet or a Facebook alert or an SMS. And not necessarily you going to listen to a broadcast on TV or on radio. I get most of my news via Twitter. Sometimes I get news even before the media houses actually announce that something has happened. The trends that we're seeing very much with young people is that they want to have a chance to speak out and the medium that they choose is a usually, for the most part, a mobile medium. For the first time, there's a two-way communication device in even the most remote location. You see that it's been completely transformational in the way people consume news, uh, in the way that people interact with news and, in, and with each other. A basic feature phone, uh, an ordinary phone, with text messaging um, and voice, those devices have toppled dictators, they've given pregnant women information, they've helped people find water, they've helped create markets for goods. If you look at Arab Spring, it happened because a few really committed people decided they wanted to let everybody else that they knew know what was happening. And those people would share it, and those people would share it, and those people would share it. And tweets and Facebook posts took down governments that had stood for decades. New media has given everyone a chance to be a journalist. Because there's no barrier to entry, 
in this new media market. Many more young people, many more non-traditional contributors are having a chance to contribute. We're in a whole different world where it's no longer power only in the hands of the governing, but truly putting power into the hands of the governed. The power of information in the hands of the right people, and by that I mean all people, is maybe the most critical factor in ensuring that countries get to move from poverty to prosperity and justice and move from tyranny to, to democracy and justice. It's been proven that when you invest in quality local independent media, you get better government accountability, better government transparency, better health and social outcomes, as well as better economic outcomes. Media and information is a root solution to the world's development problems. I really hope that the new media as it is, the, the access to those informations will change something here in Bosnia. You can feel the change. I can feel the change. I was here from the first when Taliban have gone and I can see the change that step by step we're uh, going to be a, a country that we can name. The young people, these, vo these emerging voices around the world, they're making a difference at their very, very local level. They're making a difference at the national level. And we do think when they come together, they do change the world.